How did we meet? This part of two to three is harder for me. Piss sticks. I'm in denial that I have to push. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Featuring Olive. Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. We haven't done long form. Obviously we did our birth video, but I was just so ill, like from having been pregnant that we just haven't been doing our little um, catch ups guys. And also I'm new to YouTube shorts. People are asking, how did we meet? So we thought we could do that. We're getting um, Popeyes tonight and we're gonna make a cocktail. This is my pre-game. I'm just having a cider here. Goodness, what? Kyle, we're meant to be making cocktails. Look, I've got nice glassware. That's really nice, but the kids are gone. Go to maximize time here. Ooh. Cocktail. I was thinking an amaretto. Listen, you're taking a very long time, I so I need you to I need you to speed things up. I was up. thinking an amaretto sours. Um, Do I get one of those too? Sure. sure. Thanks. Okay, so you're gonna squeeze your lemons in your limes. Oh, it even catches the seeds. Yeah, this is William Sonoma. This is dead posh. This plastic thing is William Sonoma. William Sonoma. It mix? was probably the cheapest thing in the in the place. That's probably why I got it. Are you mixing the lemon and lime juice? Yeah. Oh. It's a cocktail, Kyle. Sours mix. I know you're American. You're used to having sours mix just like <laughs> out of a bottle. Like you're like the bars in England don't have sours mix in a bottle. No, we don't. Bet you do. I've never seen a sours mix Bet ever. You can find it in a dive. Just saying. We don't have dives. We have pubs. Um. Anyway, so we have like grimy pubs or dance halls. Right. So we met in the United Arab Emirates. Um, I was in Dubai because I worked for Emirates Airline. Kyle was in Abu Dhabi because he um, was in the US Marines. I was stationed in Abu Dhabi working for the UAE for a year. Yeah, so pretty much the UAE government like hire Americans to help them like train. Yeah, it's like training advisors. Yeah, and then I'd already been there like maybe four years at this point. So I was already like, oh my God, I'm so over drinking. I'm just in my like clean girl aesthetic era. And then I met Kyle in a bar. Don't act like I was a bad influence. You were drinking when we met. Oh, I was. Your juice. What? You're supposed to take it off so the seeds don't come with it. Oh yeah, because the seed just went in. That makes just sense. Just pour it back in. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come off it, mate. You let daddy do that. That is disgusting. <laughs> that, uh, Are I'm you going to cut it? I'm not okay with that narrative. Are you going to cut it? <laughs> <laughs> We're not those types of people. No. Um, amaretto. Just a dash. <laughs> Controversial one. You want the egg whites. Don't drop the yolk in. Oh my god. Oh, nearly. Oh, it's rolling off. Don't worry, these are pasture raised. I'll get a spoon bag. Do you reckon it'll kill me? He's getting out. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. To make it frothy, you've got to do it dry first met in a bar so there was like I was there for a group that I wasn't like involved in the group I just had a friend who was in the group and there was some guy in the military was leaving um and I we all took a group photo and I was next to Kyle or in front of him or something and there was you were hitting on me well before that absolutely not there was a guy who took the picture who we didn't know like hey mate do you mind taking a picture and he was he was a pale fellow he had blonde hair he was just a pale fellow he was like six four Almost albino. And then Kyle said, oh my God, who wants to recall my voice to take the picture? And nobody laughed. Like nobody. And then I stand by that joke to this day. And then he said the joke again, because he no one laughed. And I turned around to him and I was like, did you just say that joke twice? Yeah. And that's how we met. And now we have three children. And now we have three fucking kids. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Everything happened quick after that too. You came to the the ball, and then we went to South Africa, and then we went to Thailand, and got engaged, and then you moved. Well, you moved home first, and then you moved yeah. here. I put look. We got this. We got a cool fridge and make ball ice. I'm just gonna pour it over. Whoa. Where's the froth? It's still in here. It's because I left it. There we go. Well, I didn't make enough for you. How about you have this one? Because this one has egg in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I have I'm... an iron stomach. I've been eating shit for years. I say it is good though. Okay, well, I've got to make myself one now. Oh, that's tasty, that. We're waiting for Popeyes, because I've never had Popeyes before. Oh, You're standing back. People might not be able to hear you. It's like an amplified special microphone thing. People are going to be able to hear me. We need to get, we need to get another one if we're going to be YouTube superstars. We've made about one YouTube since we got those. <laughs> <laughs> we've made like... YouTube superstars. We've made, this like... is literally the second time we've ever used them. No, we used them in a road trip. It's video. the third time we've ever used them. I'm literally like a mixologist. Make I made the it same on, drink every I made time it on you TikTok do. Once. Every time you make a drink on social media, you make the same. I made a bit this on TikTok once, and people absolutely lost their goddamn minds. Careful. Oh, that was a better cut. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, I've got to put the bitters on top. My God, I'm this mixologist. You're really losing it. This yeah. mixologist is. Mixologist just... makes one drink and doesn't get it right. Right. Oh, mine's way better. Look at that! Whoa. It's because my body knew I was making that one for you. These drinks are a metaphor for us. You put so much more effort and yours came out so much nicer. Mine's just a pile of shit. <laughs> and it's delicious, it is. Oh, just throw it all over the kitchen, why don't you? My goodness. Can't tip it over. Cheers. Oh, you've almost finished yours. I just swallowed a bunch of bubbles. Cheers. Cheers. It's here! <laughs> Don't you have to say welcome to our YouTube channel again? No, it's all on one video. I thought it was shorts. Okay. Welcome to. Oh. <laughs> I don't really know much about Popeyes. So I just ordered. I don't either, to be fair. Everything. I don't know if I've ever had it. Oh, interesting. I thought this was like an American. Oh, look at the size of this mac and cheese. That's a big one. I got two chicken sandwiches. Did had you? to try the classic and the spicy. It's like a, it's like a Chick Fil A. We have a lot of food then. Luckily, you eat leftovers. I don't eat leftovers. Yeah. What are these? Right, everyone says that the ranch is really good. Okay, that's good. I love ranch anyway. Cajun fries. Signature hot. Oh my god! It even has a little. Um, oh, they tape a little wet wipe. Wet wipe to the top. That's good. Customer classic service. sandwich. Guys, I love these American scones. They're so yummy. That's a biscuit. The ones that, um, what did we have the other day? And they put um, honey on top. Oh my God. That is so good. It's like a scone, but it's salty. That Stop is... calling it a scone, it's a biscuit. It's the same thing. What's this? Oh, that's an apple pie. You get a fast food dessert. Yeah, because it says if do you want to add anything. That doesn't mean you have to add anything. Right, this is the um, mashed potato and gravy. Everyone said you had to, I had to try it. Well, not everyone. I actually didn't. I, didn't, I made that up. I literally just lied. I looked on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so no one said no that. No one to you. told me. Okay, great. Ooh, that's really delicious. Signature hot wings. These are for me. These are really. This is really nice. Okay. Look guys, Whoa. I'm having a scum and a cocktail. Somebody stuck my hair. Cajun french fries. Everyone says they're really good on TikTok. Everyone told me. Did everyone message you on TikTok and say they're really good? Everyone told me that's to try Cajun chips. <laughs> it's actually really good. Everyone said when we did that KFC video that Popeyes was much better. So far, so far I agree. Spicy. No. Oh wow. Just kidding, she hates it, it's mine. I don't want to answer questions standing up eating. Yeah, that's what the plan is. No. That's what we do with Taco Bell. Let's change the plan. No. Why can't we be sitting and eating? Because it's too dark in there, I haven't lit, I've lit this room. 
He put a, f a ring light and turned on the kitchen light. We don't have lights in there. We only have lamps. Carlos, we're going to be YouTube superstars. We have to have perfect lighting. I don't want to stand. Right, for Popeyes, actually, I don't politically align with Chick fil A. Oh, and someone Christ. told me that I should try Popeyes because their chicken sandwiches are just as good. Oh. Little squirt. <laughs> Everybody messaged Caroline and said that their ranch was really good too, so I have to try that. <laughs> Meaning she saw it on TikTok. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone. Yeah, and I agree with all your friends who messaged you about it. It's a very good ranch. And I'm a bit of a ranch connoisseur, if we're being honest. Oh, you just eat Hidden Valley. Why, well, everyone messaged me so I had to dip. You have to dip into the mashed potato and gravy. Wow. Delectable. That is gorgeous. It's a little spicy though, it's got a kick to it. I'm English, so I think water is spicy. Well, first of all, I'm just saying, is a pacifier safe for newborns? I'm a bit um, skeptical. We actually were told by our nurse practitioner in the hospital that um, pacifiers, a dummy, a binky, um, is actually really good for newborns because it, it reduces SIDS um, because it keeps their brain, what shit, keeps their brain active. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like some new literature. They recommended it. Okay, yeah. biggest question is, do we find the jump to three kids comparable to jump from like one to two and then zero to one? I think we are the most laid back this time. I actually am finding this the easiest, but then you're not back at work yet. So I'm kind of scared for that. Kyle's had four weeks off or is having four weeks off. He actually gets 16 weeks with his work and he's taking four weeks now and he's taking the rest of the time in the summer when we move. But yeah, um, at the moment, this is the easiest. I think zero to one, the thing is, is that you have absolutely no fucking clue what you're doing. They said one to two or two to three. I would say one to two was hard. Was harder. One to two is the hardest. Yeah, hundred percent. No, sorry. I lied. Two to three is the hardest. You think now is the hardest? Yes. Because you do the exact same thing that you did when we had two. What am I doing while you're doing that? Carl, you were back at work already. Yeah, I was, but I'm not right now. Yeah. So my day is waking up with the older two children, yeah, but we getting had, everything but ready, we so, leaving. But we had Sophie with Charlie. us full time when um, I had Charlie. And we were still very concerned with Sophie. Now she's a little bit older. She very much like fends for herself. We already know how to juggle now because at the moment we're like divide and conquer. This part of two to three is harder for me. Because no, that's I'm, your experience, Carl. We're on different parenting journeys. That was the question. Which do you find? So yeah, I'm saying. Is it like us? What do we think? Everything is a we. This isn't. Then just, why are you telling me that I'm a different parenting experience? Because it is a different parenting experience. You're a different human to me. Yeah, but you just said everything is we. Yeah, so they're asking for you and then for me. Don't be so literal, Kyle. This is like, Kyle, he's, he's very literal on the exact words that I use. Okay, they're just asking, like, do we find it? And when I say we, I mean, like, did you, did I? Like, it's just a conversation, Kyle. But you just said you found one to two easier. Or you found, no, no, no I... you found, you think this is the easiest. You think this is the easiest because we're oh. laid back. Yeah. And then I came in and said, I think this is harder. Okay, so that's your parenting experience. Your feelings are valid, Kyle. <laughs> you negated oh God, that. Someone go and get him a little violin. Okay, this is honey barbecue. I'm very confused. What you are said, you confused about, Kyle? Because you said it's we, as in we only have one parenting journey, and then you said I have a different parenting oh journey. God. It's like, how are we finding it? Like, don't, it's not that deep. Like, just answer, like, which one are you finding harder? This is not mild. This is like a medium. This is spicy. <laughs> but when you go back to work, it's all on me anyway. <laughs> and I think you'll find this harder than one to two when I go back to work. That's why I said at the beginning, but you're not back at work yet. Keep it live. That was your fault. <laughs> um, are we done having kids? Your answer is... I am... Done? <laughs> I think we'll just see how. I'm more committed to being done than you are. Yeah. Because. So by the time I went, I'm desperate for another child that will bring me so much happiness will complete my life. You wouldn't exactly say no. I would, yeah, I would put up a fight. Oh. 
Goodness gracious. I, like... I think it depends on how much... Like, we're moving, so like money situation, things like that is like really tricky. So we just literally have no idea what our lives could be like in the next year. For me, when it comes to commitment to the children, timing wise, I work all day, you work a lot for creating content. If we had four children that you'd have to be able to provide individual, like special time to each one of them to make sure that they grow and you know, feel supported. We're back. We had a small... Welcome to our... You oh. <laughs> we, had a small <laughs> we had a small battery issue. These vlogging cameras don't last. It died so fast, to be fair. Died so far. Do you ever have moments to yourself or sleep? I'm a bit terrified. Great question. Do you want to go first? Kyle sleeps wonderfully. <laughs> Kyle doesn't do the nights because I breastfeed. <clears throat> but what we do... I'll speak for myself, thank you. Okay, Carl, how is your sleep? I feed the baby a bottle at no, midnight. No. Okay, compared to how you would normally go to sleep to how you normally wake up, has your sleep been affected at all? No. No. Carl's late sleep is not affected. Mine is, but she is sleeping really well, so I can't complain. And I actually, final last words, but I don't overly hate waking up in the night because I feel like, oh, this is just you and me, little baba. I think the time to yourself is a really important question. We don't have time to ask. I don't have time to myself. Um, Kyle right now is able to go to the gym because he's on I take Charlie time. to the gym because I'm and on That is alone leave. time for you. I don't have alone time because I can't work out. I can't go to the gym. The other thing is if you go to sleep at like 10, 30, 11, and I have to feed the baby at midnight, I have an hour. Yeah. So Kyle feeds the baby a bottle of formula at 11.30. I'm already in bed, 11.30. Somewhere, be yeah, somewhere between yeah. 11.30 and 12.30. And then so. it gets the baby, oh my God. It, it's been getting her to like 2.30, 3.30, kind of depending on her mood. Together as in like time together, to us together. We're having wow. it now, actually, yep. because the other kids are at Carl's parents' house. How do you handle your anxieties of parenting? Life coaching. <laughs> oh, Kyle just started life coaching. He <coughs> yeah. got like, you, you say it, babes, you say it. <laughs> um, I, people always, I get trolled that I talk too much in these, but it is my show, do you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I thought, hey, I have a bunch of, patern a pater a bunch of paternity leave. Like, a, people I know have been doing therapy and it's been really helping them, so work gives you like 25 free sessions. So I was like, I'm on leave, why don't I try it? So I did a little questionnaire and they're like, you probably don't need full-on therapy. Yeah, I should um, have but life coaching is would would be good for you. So I had my first session a week ago. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt a serious moment, but this Mac and Cheese is really good. So I started my life coaching. We'll see how that goes. He told me to do breathing exercises so far, <laughs> which I've done before. And they're good, but you just don't like stick to them necessarily. His person was like, I think your wife should try it. And I'm like, yeah. Pop with me. She's the problem. A, <laughs> pop with me is A, I'm British, we're not good at this stuff. And B, I'm depressed because I'm in America. <laughs> you can't transplant me to England. We're moving in like, I'm moving at least in like 12 weeks. And my mum's coming out in a few weeks, so happy days! I address my anxieties in very short bursts. So okay. life coaching, gym, and then that hour at night. I miss the gym. I really enjoy the gym. Yeah. Don't work out to lose weight, guys. Work out for joyful happiness in mental health. I really enjoy spinning myself. I actually, 37 weeks, I, I was spinning up till 37 weeks with her. But like, I love it, I love spinning. How do you feel our parenting will differ between the USA and the UK? It's a hard one because for you to answer because you've actually only been to England twice and one was for a medical reason that like we spent the whole time pre like in hospital. Yeah, the only the only insight I can provide into that is that I'll probably be in the office more, which makes me sad because I'll probably be able to like pick up the kids from yeah, school do, like, less. School pick up and stuff. Because now he like arranges his meetings and he'll like sad. do pick up and then come back and work and then be here for dinner. Yeah, I'm a very involved dad, I would say. Yeah. And I think I will probably no, be shit. less involved. Yeah, that's great banter in the UK, isn't it, guys? So <laughs> funny. <laughs> you just shit. Carl's got shit banned. I think what's difficult is my experience in the US. It, US, obviously, is such a big country. So my experience in parenting here could be different to people's parenting in different places. But 
for us where we live we live in a town that literally is like touching boston city and like there's absolutely nothing pretty much to do for kids because everyone's back at work um there's like no like i think 12 weeks i think massachusetts give um a birthing parent and that's considered really good so you know there's not a demand for kids activities during the day because most kids are in daycare or with nannies and a lot of people have these like you know they make their houses like these fortresses of like kids toys and stuff and it's just not my vibe. I want to go to a, I want to go to a little farm. And people are like, oh, that must be because you live in like the country in the UK. I don't. I actually live in a in a county that touches London, so it's very much like a similar vibe. But we just, I don't know. So I want a soft play. I think we'll be more out oot in a boot. We'll be more oot in a boot in the UK. I'm looking forward to it. I've got all my school friends. I've got all my home friends and my family. I'll be a happier person, which will make me a happier mother how do you keep does it sound bad that all i said was i would be sad because i'll be less involved no. and you'll be happy <laughs> yeah maybe but i think you'll but you're going to have a better work work life balance like we're going to be able to go on holidays and like oh we go because holidays here but i would i will say other than like but actually, the day-to-day -day timing but i think you'll be able to go and do more stuff yeah i'm much we, more excited yeah. i'm much i'm very excited about being able to just walk around with the kids and do stuff with them. Yeah, get a little puddle suit on the kids. Like we don't, there's no puddle suits here. Because oh. a puddle suit. Exactly, Kyle, exactly. It's a whole like one piece, but it's just for the rain because we it rains a lot. <laughs> but I you guys designed a piece of clothing for children. To be outside in the rain. It's like a wetsuit to walk down the street with. Yeah, 100%. There's no such thing as bad weather, it's bad clothing. But I think Kyle will be able to go and do stuff on the weekends because I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be like off with my mates and be like, he, you're going to be like, what are we doing this weekend? I'll be like, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm off here. <laughs> but you'll be able to hang out with my brother and stuff and Dan. And you're going to make Who's watching the kids? I'll take the kids with me. Or you want to take them on the golf course, it's up to you. Do you think when we move to England, I just don't want to hang out with the kids anymore? No, of course you will. But I also think you're going to be very happy to play a round of golf. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to play golf every weekend. No. Oh. But I'm just saying right now, we're with each other 24-7 all the time. Yeah, got, fuck's sake. We don't have any friends. Yeah, I could take a break from you. Yeah, exactly. It's not what your moan is about. Um, gentle parenting. What's that? <laughs> like, do we tell the kids off? We're not, I don't think we're gentle parents. No, we're not gentle parents. No, we're, we're very not. curious parents. Like we don't just we discipline our children. We yeah, we tell them off, but we don't tell them off for the sake of telling them off. Yeah, but we're not gen we don't do gentle parenting. I think in some elements we do, but I'd like to, like I think some children are really good at, and they respond well to gentle parenting and I think other ki other kids don't. Sophie is much better at gentle parenting as she's got older and she understands. But like, she hasn't always been. I think gentle parenting kind of comes in like waves depending on what phase of their life that they're in. I think you tell her not to do something, she takes one step closer to doing she's it. She's doing it a lot at the moment with the baby coming. She takes one step closer to doing it to see if you're actually gonna like, get serious about telling her not to do she's it. She's such a sassy little bitch. We care a lot about our children's emotions, but we don't just like coddle them. We're not. Yeah, yeah. We ask them questions, why are they upset? What's well, making them feel yeah, this so way? Yeah, so we allow them to have their emotions, but emotions sometimes have consequences. But like, I don't remember the last time we gave Sophie a time out. We threaten it a lot. We threaten it a lot. <laughs> we, we threaten it a lot. Do it. She hates them that much because she sat yeah. on the stairs for like forty-five seconds one time, and we all we've had to do since then is threaten it, and she yeah. loses her mind. She really literally gave me a words that she screamed the whole time, and I had to like sit with her <laughs> while she did the time out. Yeah, it wasn't much of a time out. <laughs> Charlie got a time out. At his like child mind, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes like two and a half hours a week, twice a week. He goes with another little boy who's just a little bit older than him, and <laughs> they're hiding. They're in the hiding era, these boys. And um, his child mind called me, and in absolute frenzy, they hid. So she called the other mum and was like, "What shall I do? Like, how? Like, shall I tell them off?" And the other mum was like, "Put him on the stairs, give him a time out." So she put him and Charlie on the stairs. <laughs> and we can just imagine Charlie just sat on the stairs, like tapping his little legs, like, hey buddy, how's your time out going? This is a pretty fun spot, huh? This is fun, that's <laughs> good. Like Charlie wouldn't even realize what a time out was. Yeah. And then when he got home, I was like, Charlie, did, um, 
did you get told off? And he put his head down and he pointed at the stairs and he went, yes. <laughs> Farley has no idea. He's too young. He's just turned two. He's such a sweet boy. Then how do you find couple time with three children? I honestly think that right now, I literally had a baby like three weeks ago. The most important thing right now is the baby and our children. Like it's really nice, obviously we're doing this now and this will this will give us giggles. I will laugh about this for a few hours at least until I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but, but right now we are not the most important thing. The children are, especially her, like survival mode. We're in, we're in, the crocs are in sport mode. Yeah, I wouldn't even say we have the luxury of saying what the most important thing is. Like yeah. our lives are so regimented with Charlie wakes up at six fucking 30 every day. So I'm up with him. Sophie has to get up for school. Then I bring them out the door and then we need something to do with Charlie. So I bring him to the gym. Then we come home and he needs to nap. And then we hang yeah, out for a couple such, hours. We're in such a little routine. <coughs> but usually we have to do something in those couple hours. Sophie comes home, pure chaos until... Yeah. I feel like when Sophie comes home from school, it, everything kicks off. Yeah. Sophie comes home, pure chaos for a couple hours, dinner time, maybe bath time. Bedtime. Yeah, we don't bath our kids every day. And then we watch TV for like an hour to two hours and then you go to the sleep and I wait The kids are so bad at watching baby. TV sometimes. I wish they would just sit and watch TV. Yeah, I mean, it's good though. Charlie watches TV. Charlie, Charlie's such a... Actually, someone asked, what is your favorite things about each kid? My favorite thing about Charlie is his love language is touch. He is obsessed with affection. Like he... You'll sit block. on the sofa and he will really like snuggle up into your arm. I love I that love Sophie, Sophie so much. is so into, her personality's really come through. She loves makeup, she loves getting, as much as they're getting changed, she changes. As soon as she comes back from school, she's upset and she changes and she'll yeah. change like four times in the night. Oh, I actually love that because I love that she's like expressing herself. My friend came recently, she was like, oh my God, that would drive me out the wall that she's changing all the time and there's all clothes everywhere. But honestly, I really don't mind. I think it's such a lovely way that she expresses herself. Yeah, she wears each of them for what, like 20 minutes? <laughs> just throw it back in the, it's not like it's dirty. She just goes back in the drawer. Olivia, was the jury's still out. We're still getting to know her. She's yeah. a bit of a stranger danger right now. Personality so. hasn't really shown up yet. No. I mean, that's your favorite thing about Sophie. I think my favorite thing about Sophie is her boisterousness. Like she her is. cutting coomers, cutting, cutting cucumbers. Cutting she cucumbers. came down the stairs the other night and just did this dance where she was like, I'm cutting coomers, which are cucumbers. I'm shaking my booty. I'm shaking my booty. And I think it's the funniest thing in the entire world. She's also very protective of her affections. Like she chooses very She's specific She's very times. picky and choosy about when she'll give you a hug and when she'll give you yeah. a kiss. She told me the other day that she'll only give me one kiss a day. So I asked her for another kiss, asked the kiss, and she went, no, mommy. <laughs> I only do once a day. She has very high standards for like everything in her life. Yeah. And I really respect that about her. Does it freak you out when you get a wing and the bone Breaks. Is, yeah, the bone is I hate broken? It. Yep. Because does that mean the chicken had its leg broken? No, not necessarily. Do you not no. think? Like in my mind, that's why I don't like chicken. That could have been broken any time between the that's chicken. That's why I don't like chicken on the bone. It's because that's broken killed. in my brain. That means that the chicken's been hurt. One more question: How have the kids? How are the kids doing with Olivia? Charlie, Charlie, he will be the other side of the room, like up two rooms away, and he'll be playing with his little cars, and suddenly he'll go. Baby. And he'll like run over to the baby. Like he, almost like he forgets the baby's there. And then he'll suddenly realize, and he's like so excited. But he, I'll be like, do you want to hold the baby? He's like, yes. Yeah. And he'll like sit on the sofa. I will hand him the baby, literally three seconds later. And yeah. he'll be like, done. And he'll, he's a quick turn off. And he'll push the baby away. He always Having, asks, I have Charlie out of the house a lot more than you do right and now. And he asks to see he the baby. Always asks to see the baby. He loves the baby. He loves being around the baby. They'll like FaceTime me while I'm sat on the sofa and I'm like, oh, what the fuck do you want, Kyle? Yeah. And it's Charlie. Like when we to get to the, the gym, we have to, he's always going to call, call mommy, baby, missy. So I have to FaceTime them when we get to the gym, when we just left 45 minutes ago so that he can see the baby. But he doesn't really get the gentleness part of it yet. No, he's not totally. very gentle. But he's not like hitting. Like someone messaged me the other day asking about biting and things no, like that. Like, no, he's not do biting. Anything. He's not hitting the baby or anything. Sophie, we can't fucking keep her off of her. Sophie's obsessed. Yeah. Sophie is so happy to have a girl. She 
They only have, at the moment, she's asked me if I can get the matching dresses, but right now I'm not really big into bait newborns having like outfits, like put them in a onesie. Like she like shat all over us. I saw a thing today that you might like. Your child doesn't need a new outfit. You need a new bra. It's like a mom support thing. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Why bra? I don't, I don't know. Do you I don't know, I bought a new tracksuit. Does that count? You buy clothes, it doesn't apply I to you. I actually don't buy clothes that much. I actually don't, <clears throat> I actually don't shop that much. I um, was pregnant and I wore stuff that I already had, mostly. But and now I'm not- you just spend like 600 bucks on- Yeah, but I've been, I've been pregnant, so there was a little pot of money. There are no pots of money. No pots of money. There are no pots of okay, money. Okay, but there's PayPal paying for. <laughs> Still not a pot of money. Yeah, but if you girl math that, Girl math is not real math. I don't know. That's for another I feel like no one's that's, actually exposed that to you yet. That's the girl for another math video. Isn't. Anyway. Anyway. I've probably got a lot here. I don't know. You're going to have to trim a lot of it. Cole, I wasn't being weird. You, you were, were not just understanding. Not, the, the you question. were not. You were not understanding that. I could just ask a question and you have your experience. I have my experience. We're not getting into it again. Bye, guys. <laughs> you tried to make my experience not my experience. Oh, we Jesus. each have our own parents. <laughs> we each have, we each have oh. our own parenting. Well, the next video is going to be questions about our move. So if you want to throw some questions down below, we'll get onto them. Because I'm moving in May, which is about I'm about twelve weeks out. He's coming just a bit after with Sophie. Sophie really wants to finish school, but I just want to leave. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you did put your arm around me. Yeah, this is our farewell. So if you have to cut everything before this out, at least we can do our. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Do you know what? Channel. I've had two and a little bit, and I'm feeling a little bit. Yeah, I know you're hammered. As if I'm British. I'm British. <laughs> <laughs>